April 17, 2022, direct from the cradle of mankind. This is Too Much Information with Tai Ngashira. Wow, wow, wow. Hello, everyone, and a happy Easter to you all. So welcome to another episode of Too Much Information with me, Tai Ngashira. Now, <laughs> so... Tonight, we have a fun show for you, including a conversation with the indefatigable public defender, a.k.a. People's Ombudsman, Triple O Okia Okoiti Omtata. <laughs> so he is here to talk matters activism, defense of public good, and the Senate run. So stay tuned. <laughs> now, as promised, those of you following us on social media are getting all sorts of benefits, like subsidies, coalition <laughs> agreements, or running mate positions. Now, come on, numbers, come on, my DVD to talk about 40% of the show. <laughs> so, today I just want to start by congratulating the students who have secured slots in various high schools around the country. Well done, guys, well done. I know some were posted to schools they didn't want, but the nature of a 100% transition is he's on the Zoziko. <laughs> <laughs> the other place where people are trying to force 100% transition with us is the ongoing nominations. Where exam papers were found already marked before, <laughs> before the day of the exams. You see? The problem is not rigging, it's the pens. The, 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 pens, the, the pens are the problem. <laughs> And now to something that seems to go hand in hand with elections, hate speech. Samuel Kobia, the chairperson of the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, is not mincing his words. Sipangwingwi, madoadoa, and utajua haujui are some of the words and phrases in Kenya whose use could land you in trouble. Sipangwingwi, madoadoa, utajua haujui, zikiliet mashashola. Like, I wonder who has been teaching Grandpa Kobia these words. There you go. Alessandro Olocho. Santos, a.k.a. Madocho Wakanairo. <laughs> you know, my favorite part of the video is where Kobe is smiling and acting like he understands what he's doing. You know, like Madocho is just there and it's like Kobe's their smile is just like the, the smile parents give when they're taking selfies. God bless me and my son in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> but what's wrong with Sipangwingwi? What's wrong? It's a word that has been used as a tool to rally hate against a group of people. <laughs> Like, honestly, the only thing I hate about Sipangwingwi is the spelling. No, like, <laughs> like, like, but given the uproar following the declaration of the so-called illegal words and the parties affected, naturally, we sympathize. We know what we are saying. And therefore, instead of these people wasting their time fighting with literature... <laughs> yes, wonderful literature. Literature and her cousins art music, poetry, <laughs> comedy, and dance are always the politicians darling during elections. I mean, even Millicent Omanga can be ordered to utilize her talents to entertain visitors. <laughs> Farouk reminds me of when your parents would ask you to entertain guests, you know. <laughs> Millicent, could you show again if you dance drama kwa shule? <laughs> and then, after the visitors are gone, Millicent, talk up when they find science, na hesabu. I believe that unless education is reformed to emphasize the primacy of science, technology, and technical education, the potential of African youth will remain unlocked. For what shall it profit a man to know when Vasco da Gama reached Malindi? <laughs> I mean, the, the irony. It would have profited the man to know when a white man would land on your shows, you know? I mean, 
<laughs> the point is, we want leaders to take art and literature as seriously after elections, just as they do before elections. Now, back to Kobia. This lexicon is a living document. It will continue to grow as we get even feedback. Thank you, NCIC. And yes, we have feedback for you. Here's a list of more words that incite anger among Kenyans. Excise duty. <laughs> VAT. <laughs> Send off package. <laughs> Sitting allowance. <laughs> and in yangu. <laughs> Tumana ya kutoa. <laughs>
So word on the street is that it's the Kienyejis that are bearing the brunt of this shortage. Eh? <laughs> and they're accompanying high prices. Kipika mboga ya Kienyeji lazima ni yake maziwa and stuff. So saika maziwa imepanda hata uwezi kula mboga yako kwa amani. Honestly, what's that? Yeah, honestly, what's that? <laughs> that is inflation, poor voting, and mutuetu mentality. I mean, but it's not all doom and gloom, however, as the DRC has promised to bring very necessary changes to some of the elements of the EAC. What do they think is in that upgrade? The EAC National want them. It will now be composed and performed by Extra Musica. <laughs> We are, we are also informed from unreliable sources that Kenyan ladies can finally look forward to receiving their character development in a mixture of French, <laughs> Kiswahili, and Lingala. <laughs> but I think the change we are all really hoping for is an infusion of Congolese fashion and style among the leaders of the EAC. So, but to Toyota DRC, to Nasema, bienvenue, karibu sana, welcome to the land of milk and cows. <laughs>
comrade Bob Mugabe, I see. <laughs> tie, tie, tie. I wish that was the beloved comrade, but it's not. But King Muswati definitely learned a thing or two from the comrade because in 2014, he had parliament allocate, get this, an equivalent of 6,966,700,000 Kenya shillings towards his annual household budget. Now, for our Zimbabwean brothers, I got you. Yeah. Oh, we, don't, we don't have time to turn this into Zimbabwean money. Okay, uh, we don't have time. Uh, okay, 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 okay. He is also the proud owner of a Daimler Chrysler Maybach 62, valued at an eye-watering, get this time, 57,375,000 uh -huh. Kenya shillings. Uh -huh. Now, I know you need context. That is like 577 Boda Bodas, eh? <laughs> Just three less of what show up when you hit one Boda Boda. Eh? <laughs> Hey, Eric. You know, I'm starting to feel left out. Mm -hmm. Don't we have some East African representation? To Kose to Chekwe, ladies and gentlemen, at only 78 years, with only 36 years in power, I present to you, <laughs> Master Yoweri Kaguta Tibuhaburua Museveni Himuserefu, <laughs> a.k.a. Sebo, from Champala, Uganda, father to Muhozi and long time, long lasting boyfriend. <laughs> To Janet. Hi, <laughs> Eric. Find out one of our own. Uh, look at that hat. Eh? Tell us more about this star. <laughs> Banange, besides being a fashionista, <laughs> he's also a Christian, a humble cattle farmer from the hills of Ankole, but most importantly, a teetotaler. Ty, uh -huh. the aversion of this man to alcoholic drinks and alcoholic beverages is well known. Uh -huh. Specifically, wines. You know which oh, wine? No, 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 no. Bobby wine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Eric, I guess I'll see what the 68th premiere awards of this show. <laughs> well, I'm sure an opposition figure or two is likely to get slapped. Eh? Kazima, anyway, Kazima. Uh, Kazima. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eric Lusavali! <laughs> so coming up on TMI, we're having a sit down with our guest, Okia Omitata. You don't want to miss that, folks. Welcome back, everyone. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest today is the embodiment of tirelessness, relentlessness, and fearlessness when it comes to the pursuit of justice and defense of public good. Now, you've been asking, okay, I'm happy to come back to my register SIM card. And so we brought him. <laughs> so, 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 it's such an honor to have with us on the show. Okia, I'm Tata, everyone. <laughs> Kenyans are concerned. Mara, who do my number, Mara, the new age license, Mara sense. They're wondering, all this data I'm giving to government, are their worries, uh, are, they, are they fundamentally based on something? I think the question of data is a sensitive question. What these people should be doing is that when I go to register my SIM card, yes. with my ID card, yes. as the time when everybody did it, yes. they should be able to cross-check that information with the immigration, the, the department that it deals with registration of persons and immigration. Yes. The databases are there. Yeah. Run it, and if, and if there's nothing, if there's something not agreeing, mm. then they should be able to immobilize that SIM card or ask whoever is holding the card to come back. First of all, you have a contract with Safaricom yeah. or Telecom. When you mm. bought their SIM card, when they came, they never told you they were going to do that. Yes. All they told you mm. is that give us your national ID card and we give you a contract that's endless. Yes. There's no termination provision. The only, the only thing that is renewable yeah. <laughs> is the airtime. Yes. Which is even having expired days. When I moved to court, when I, not, I wrote to them, I'm not fair, I'm going to go to court. But how does time, how does my property <laughs> <data> vote <laughs> expire? <laughs> yes. They quickly announced that they were. Removing out the airtime is not uh, expire, but it doesn't expire. Wait, so you are the you are the man behind no longer expiring airtime. Yes, I had yeah, yeah, move. Yeah. I threatened to move to court, <laughs> and that's why we didn't get to court. <laughs> we want to join uh, politics, and we are concerned. Is it a case of if you can't beat them, join them? No, no, no. Oh, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> I think it's a case of the rule of law. Uh -huh. If you can't beat them, join them is a law of the jungle. Mm -hmm. Right now, if you, you know the name of this country is the Republic of Kenya. Yes. It's not the Kingdom of Kenya. Yeah. It's not the estate of Kenya. <laughs> it's not the kiosk of Kenya. Yeah. You see, it's the Republic of Kenya. Yes. And that's everything. Yeah. What's a republic? Yes. A government of law. Yes. And that's what we are demanding that the law should rule. True. And politics, if it is properly run by law, that's how things are done in a republic. Yeah. 
So to me, I'm going into these spaces of my, where decisions are made to urge the mantra of republicanism. Mm -hmm. Even my agitation for whatever I do, yeah. I do it in the knowledge that I live in a republic. Okay. If I was in a kingdom of Morocco, maybe I would not be doing what I do. <laughs> <laughs> because it, owned, it belongs to somebody, yeah, to the it, king. It, it, it does. It you, does. Are a, you are a subject. Yes. In a republic, you are not a subject. In a republic, you are what we call a citizen. Yes. And a citizen is the highest office you can occupy in a republic. Wow. To be a wow. citizen. Wow. 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 Um, um, you have chosen to, 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 to run for Senate, specifically yes. Senate for Busia. Yes. So most of, you, when, most of the time when we see you uh, in court, you're raising matters of national issues. But yes. Senate ideally deals a lot with a lot of what's happening in the counties. It still does legislation on national level, but it's mostly around counties. I'll be, if I succeed, yes. I'll be elected by the people of Busia yeah. to be a senator of the Republic of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And that's where we all must come together yeah. and agree that this country is one yeah. and we cannot in any way whatsoever yeah. parcel it out into small cubicles. Despite not being an advocate, yeah. you are, we know you are always moving to court for certain... What happened? Was it one day you were like, these lawyers are not doing a good job? Or you could, <laughs> or you could not, maybe you could not afford a lawyer that day and you were like, you know, I can do this myself. What happened? Well, there's some small journey. Yeah. I met with some young lawyer whom I don't want to name. So he came to me himself and said, you know, I want to do some pro bono work and I want to build my profile. And you handle very good cases. I've seen some of the people work with you, get good media. I also want to do some work for you so that I can also get build media. my career. Yeah. So he got a case involving an attempted theft. I prepared this guy. We went to court. When the case was called, this guy now began, it's like he had been hit by some disease of memory lapse. <laughs> He remembered nothing, he didn't know nothing about the case. So the application was thrown out for conservative oh, orders. Okay. Next day, I used to live in Ongata Rongai those days. Oh, yeah, wow. there used to be very bad jam on that road. So I used to live there. Used I, to, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I came back to the city. <laughs> you know, sometimes you go there and you find the vehicle is written on Nairobi. <laughs> and then you tell people you are in Nairobi. <laughs> Kumbi are not in Nairobi. <laughs> because, because every day you have to come to Nairobi. Yes, brother. Yeah, you are in a village. <laughs> <laughs> I go to my office and I find this man my lawyer outside my office, he tells me there was a meeting, I was approached, we, have, we met, we agreed on something, kill this case. <laughs> 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 told me I've been given 30 million shillings, it's in my car. Ah. So I told him, thank you very much for letting me know what happened, but I've fired you. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> So wow. that's the day yeah. when I took up a pen, yeah. I drafted a new publication, I went to court, and I won that case. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> From that time, I began feeling that maybe I'm better off when I fight alone. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Wow. Who is, who is Omtata when he goes home? Is he an appendix, my eye boiled, my eye fried? <laughs> Does it, when he gets home, do, do you still, are you still doing petitions in the house? Like if, you, if you look at my body, do I look like I do? I eat a lot of carcass? Hey, hey, <laughs> no, you're in really good shape. You mean Mutu Mboga? Mboga too, Mboga. Mboga kienyeje skubo eki. Yeah, na Okay, What's your parting shot for Kenyans around justice issues and specifically around standing up for what is right? Martin Luther King said, if you stand straight, nobody can ride your back. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Kenyan. Yes, stand for what is right and it's fun. That is it for Too Much Information with Ty tonight. Make a date with us next week, same time, right here on NTV. Now, let's keep the conversations going on our social media handles. But before I go, I will leave you with a dose of African wisdom. Election promises are like jokes. Once people forget, you can tell them again. 